during these couple episodes, I really wanted to bring in believers, uh, not just Christians, but people that believe in the Word of God as their authority and kind of ask for stories uh, from people here in the congregation in their normal everyday life. And this is my sister, Melanie, and you've probably seen her on episodes before, but she's got a really uh, special healing testimony that um, she's been ready to share and so we're excited to hear that but let me pray for you guys as we get started father we are so grateful for this opportunity to learn about the authority that you've invested in us as believers by the power of the name of jesus and the blood of jesus and we're excited to not just learn how to walk in the fullness of this authority but to become more skillful in it father so we thank you as we approach the final days of of the era of time that we're living in that the church is going out in a blaze of glory and we're exercising authority in every area of our life in Jesus name amen. amen so if you're turning in for the first time you know I like to say it like this the authority of the believer is just the authority that God has given you in his word mm -hmm. so there's many many scriptures but the the easiest scriptures to learn about quickest are the book of Ephesians so especially chapters 1 through 3 and of course as you get into 6 it's the armor of God but that book really uh, it was Paul telling you about this is everything that you have as a believer in your arsenal yes. to exercise authority over. So one thing that we learned from one of our spiritual fathers, Kenneth E. Hagan, <laughs> yes. is the Ephesians prayers. So you want to go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 16, and chapter 3, 16, and you want to start reading those first thing tomorrow morning as part of your devotions. <laughs> out loud over your family and put your name in it first person and that is the first way you're going to learn to exercise that authority over your life and begin to walk in it but another part of that that a lot of christians don't know is their blood covenant mm -hmm. and the part of what came in our salvation was a package deal it was much better than bogo that's only buy <laughs> one get one we got uh 10 yeah. names of god in our blood covenant alone and one is jehovah rapha the lord yes. that heals us 